Hi guys. Hey, listen. Uh, yeah. These last couple months have been intense. Intense for me. But that's where I'm coming from, and I've got a lot of stuff that I'm doing on the planet. A lot of stuff that's very complicated. But, as a general rule, you guys know that where I come from, outside of the game, uh, this physicality and these lower dimensions and these lower vibrations, complex vibrations are really not my gig. They're not my thing. I'm not an expert at it at all. So they've been very uncomfortable and really up until two weeks ago, it's really been more an option to me of which one is uh, better of two bad options. Moment to moment, day by day. That's really been the way I've lived my life. Really being in confusion and well, which is the best of two bad things. And really, end result is a lot of times uh, it doesn't. It hasn't really gotten much better. It's just different options, different perspectives of a difficult place. It's like going up uh, a mountain top. Well, to get up there, it's difficult. Over here, it may be a little bit easier over here, but it's going to get worse over here. Yada yada, like that. But over the last two weeks, there's been a massive shift anyway as I was doing the work that I was that I do that I came to do that there's an option for me to choose a dramatically different option is available so now I can look around and see all kinds of magnificent cool things so I wanted you guys to know that that's what I see and if I can see it you can see it too so there are a lot of options in any given circumstance for you to choose how you're going to respond, what perspective you're going to take on this. Doesn't matter what the rest of the world is doing, okay? Just matters how you perceive it. How you perceive it is all important. As the timelines collapse and they, they collapse into one another and they become less um, just the pulling out of the lower vibrations and tearing those into tinier and tinier lower vibrations so those can those little aspects kind of like tiny threads can be used to create realities and experiences from only that level from only those perspectives those those deep complex tiny threads of low vibrations they're coming together and making like pieces of yarn or bigger pieces of thread and it's not that those tiny threads are gone they're not gone but they're used in conjunction they're merged together to create bigger threads that can be weaved together to make completely different perspectives and in that those tiny from my perspective difficult or negative strands of of reality can be put together in a bigger picture and then they're not as bad that you can see that they're just a part of the whole and it's not not as bad so for me these options are becoming a lot more available and a lot easier to get to and I hope that you guys can see that too um, now everybody can choose how this plays out however they want so you can choose whatever perspective that you want to choose and so can everybody else around you okay so just because you're standing next to somebody and they have a perspective on a situation that you're both in and that perspective plays out in their mind you can tell by talking to them or their reaction that they're in a ne negative headspace doesn't mean that you have to jump on board and do it with them you can look at the very same event in a completely different way from a different perspective if you so choose it's up to you it's absolutely up to you at any given time now is the time that if you're going to 5d or if you want to feel better then now is really the time to step up that game on not paying any attention to anyone else and how they're feeling about a circumstance you choose you take control of this situation this perspective this moment in time and find this is silver lining time okay this is definitely the time that you want to do that that there is nothing that is bad there's nothing bad there's just that you don't know the whole picture okay if you understand that if you understand that there is nothing that's wrong 
nothing that's bad, nothing that needs to be fixed. It's just a game and people are playing the game and you let them play their game, you play yours. Now, how are you going to play yours? You look at this a different way. As these these vibrations collapse and timelines collapse in and merge with each other, and it's happening very rapidly, yay, as it's happening very, very rapidly, you're going to be in a collective, you're always in a collective in this game that you don't stay in any given collective for any length of time, but most of the time. But you're going to be in your own collective. For me, my co the collective that I move and groove in, uh, because I'm moving very, very fast, and you move uh, kind of more sideways, kind of like going down a mountain and you go back and forth when you're skiing. And you move down just a little bit at a time, just back and forth. Or you can go straight down. I'm going more straight down. <laughs> now, when that happens, I had said this to somebody, I can't remember who, because there's a confusion. If you're living a reality, let's say, and in my case, I'm very, very focused on getting to fifth dimension due to helping Gaia get to the fifth dimension, getting those vibrations that are her existence, the rest of it into the fifth dimension, which is where she wants to go. That's where she wants to be. And my perception of that is that it's moving fast and I can see all of that happening because I died and came back and I can see things perhaps other people can't see as well. But that doesn't mean that they don't exist. It's like, uh, let's see, what's an animal that can see really well? I think hawks can see really well. Or um, don't bats see via like radar and like flies and spiders? They have a little tiny bunch of eyes. They see things very, very different. That doesn't mean that their way is wrong. Your way is right. You see through human eyes. They see through different kinds of eyes. I see through different eyes what's going on on the planet. And it doesn't mean that what you see is wrong. It just means that I see things different than you do. That's all. But I wanted y'all to know that when you're doing this, depending upon where you are in a game, there's a bunch of people, human beings on this planet that are really in the middle of very complex games. A lot of them are in the process of of experimenting with lower vibrations and they're like I've told you guys there's a lot more planets in the game now that are earth-like that people can come back as Gaia leaves people can go to these other planets and continue the game on a third dimensional level they are also planets now that go even lower than what you call third dimensional and they will continue to go lower and lower and lower and I know that they use three and four and five and I do too but in reality, it's in the middle of infinite dimensions in the creationary process of what is going on here. So these other planets, there's already ones that are well into what you would consider the, the second dimension, and they'll keep on doing what they're doing. A lot of entities here are just coming for one life experience, and they'll go out of the game altogether. Some have come from the fourth dimension, bump down into the third dimension, then they'll go back to the fourth dimension. Gaia is the one that's leaving the game. She's the one that's leaving the fifth dimension. There are still all kinds of planets, infinite number of planets, that are other entities, like Gaia's an entity and she's a planet. There are other, all kinds of other planets and universes and beings that are in the fourth dimension that are staying right in the fourth dimension. They're not going anywhere. Gaia is going to the fifth dimension. Also, y'all need to know that in the fifth dimension, there are other planets. Gaia is just one of them. There are a bunch of planets that are in the fifth dimension. So you're not going to go to the five, fifth dimension and then just interact with people on planet Earth or Gaia. There's all kinds of other planets and universes. It's huge there that you can not only do things on planet Earth, but you can do things all throughout that part of the game. Now, anything above what what I would call fifth dimension, it gets into a more energetic thing. It's less physical, and uh, some of some beings will stay and play in that arena, and some won't. Some will leave. But as you're on planet Earth, and she's collapsing these timelines, and she's going up into the fifth dimension, there are lots and lots of beings, humans mostly humans, that are playing all kinds of games, whether they're coming in or they're going somewhere else or they're going out. It is not a, 
you you come on this planet in the gig to do it right to, to be a better person or better being or to be wiser or older is to become enlightened and go to the fifth dimension that's not the way it works guys that's all about judgment it's all about human thinking this is just experience and there are all kinds of beings that are having ex experiences there are already a lots and lots of humans that are already living on the part of, he of Gaia that's in the fifth dimension that are living fifth dimensional lives. Which this just occurred to me. You know, you really could, if you want to know about fifth dimension, you could go into a meditative state and call on simply a human, the, a human being that's in the fifth dimension to show you around. Uh, you could do that. That would be a good way of checking it out. Uh, because it's so difficult for me to explain it because it's so different there that would be a good way of you experiencing it and you might be able to use law of attraction intending to go to that with that match you could absolutely do that but in the process of doing this as you race depending upon what you're doing and I'm moving very fast so what will happen depending upon what you're doing and how many other human beings are doing it with you there might be less human beings that are that are doing it the way you're doing it. There are a lot of timelines that people are doing it very similar and they have a lot of different human being entities, entities in human being form, that play all the roles uh, that run this planet, make it look like they're human beings in a civilized um, way on this planet. There are also timelines where there gets to be less human beings on the zombie and the end of the world and the the rapture ones and the nuclear holocaust ones that's what they look like there can be a diminished amount of human beings on the planet on those timelines but there are much shorter timelines they don't last as long once they get to that point uh, they they usually um, self-destruct because that's what they're built on is the experience of that happening as Gaia goes to the fifth dimension it will look like the earth is self-destructing but some of them where there are humans on the planet I just wanted y'all to know that there might be, you know, how do you keep enough humans on the planet as you're making your um, decisions on what your perspective is going to be and what you're doing. Let's say you're, in my case, in my case I'm going to the fifth dimension, I'm moving relatively quickly, moving from collective to collective. As I move up through these collectives rapidly, there are less entities in human form on the planet. So, they would never, it would never be created in such a way that it would, would not appear, appear real. Everything looks real, it looks normal. So what happens is, is if I move to an area or a, at a pace that, that there are less human beings in that particular state doing that particular perspective, it doesn't happen like, okay, there were seven billion people and now there are a thousand people that are doing this particular perspective in this particular moment so the other six billion nine hundred whatever uh, humans are just not there they're just gone and then all of a sudden you go past that and you've got a, a handful of them back again or seven billion of them come it doesn't work like that there's consistency so what will happen is either my consciousness will recreate a version of the other seven billion people or other entities will do that like uh, part of the seven billion people that are on different timelines will take a bit of themselves and they'll put it on my timeline that I'm on. So it's just a bit of them. They're, it looks like their human body is walking around and, and uh, is a great chef or picking up the groceries, I mean, uh, picking up the garbage or running the United States or whatever. But in reality, in certain areas as you move up, there will be less and less complete human entities in that particular place and more what I call NPC players that are bit players. They're just filling in the role of being uh, 7 billion people on the humans, uh, of humans on the, on the planet so that it looks normal and everything runs according to normal as you move through them getting up to a different place. In my case, into the fifth dimension. And there gets to be more, depending upon the area, there'll be more or less NPC players. Until right before I step into the fifth dimension, about all of the humans, 7 billion humans that I see around me, are all NPC players. Most all of them will be. Because in that moment where I step 
into that new vibration. Uh, I will be the only one that is doing it at that exact moment, in that exact way, from that exact place. So, I don't know if y'all can understand what I'm trying to explain here because it is rather a complex thought. But for those of you who wondered about how that works when there's only 7 billion people, how does that work where where we still have a collective and there's still the, the planet is spinning and operating on a human level in a normal way, how does that happen? Well, that's how it happens, is you have these, and if you don't know what an MP, uh, NPC player is, it's non-player character in the gaming world. So just look that up on Google. And it's all those extra characters that, uh, it's like an extra in a movie, where you don't know their name, they're like, um, waitress number one yeah, they don't have a lot of energy or um, they don't have a lot into that character they haven't put a lot into that character it's just enough to keep it going and to provide some background okay all right I know that one was a little bit difficult hopefully I did an okay job of explaining it and uh, yeah that's it thank you so much for watching hope you do subscribe thumbs up would be nice. I really appreciate it. I love you guys so, so much. And yeah, that's it. Love you bunches. Huge hugs. See you later.